Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain continuity of current with great clarity. In this video, I will derive equation of continuity of current as well. First of all, you need to understand what is continuity of current. See, continuity of current explains that current is continuous with respect to time. Let me take one example. Let us consider one volume over here. Let us say given volume is V and within this volume, let us say charge is Q. So for given volume, charge is Q and as if there is volume expansion, then what will happen? Then this charge Q that will be having drift in given volume. So initially we have this much volume. After that, there is volume expansion. As if volume expansion happens, then charge within the volume that is getting drifted in expanded volume right and because of charge is getting drifted in expanded volume there will be flow of current here you need to understand how much flow of current happens see flow of current happens based on rate of change of charge with respect to time initially charge inside the volume that was q after expansion of volume in given volume V, charge will decrease. So there will be flow of charge and rate of change of charge with respect to time is current. Right. I is equals to rate of change of charge with respect to time. Here I need to place negative sign. Why negative sign? The reason is here with given volume, if volume is expanded, then for volume V, charge will be decreasing over here that's why sign is negative right so here current i is rate of change of charge with respect to time provided volume expansion happens and negative sign is there due to charge is decreasing with respect to time right now i'll explain you this current with respect to current charge density current charge density is J and surface integration of current charge density is total current for given enclosed surface. So current I that is given by surface integration of current charge density for closed surface. Let us say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. By comparing 1 and 2, we can have surface integration of current charge density that is equals to minus dq by dt. Now see this is major equation. By this equation we will derive continuity of current equation. So now I will simplify this equation. So first of all I will simplify this side term. If you observe here we have surface integration of current charge density. and we can convert this surface integration into volume integration using Gauss divergence theorem. So let us use Gauss divergence theorem. From Gauss divergence theorem, we can convert surface integration into volume integration. See surface integration of function that is divergence of function volume integration. Here function is current charge density J. Right. So let us say this is equation 3 and here we have minus dq by dt. We can convert this charge in form of volume integration. Here we have volume V and here we have charge Q. So given volume that is having volume charge density rho V. So if you want charge in terms of volume integration, then you can have charge as per volume integration based on rho V charge is equals to volume integration of volume charge density right so total charge that is volume integration of volume charge density right let us say this is equation 4 so now i will substitute equation 3 and equation 4 in equation a for further simplification so now see this surface integration of current charge density that we will be converting into volume integration. So that is divergence of current charge density 
with volume integration that is equals to minus d by dt of charge where this charge q that is volume integration of volume charge density right now let us simplify this further see here you can simplify this by taking volume integration out so here i'll be having volume integration out over here so here we will be having differential of volume charge density with respect to time and this is now volume integration now at both sides we have volume integration so we can cancel out those volume integration so now we will be having divergence of current charge density that is equals to minus of d rho v by dt and this is the major equation let us say this is equation b and this equation is equation of continuity of current so here i have derived equation of continuity of current that is divergence of current charge density is equals to minus d rho v by dt and this explains current continuity with respect to time means as if there is volume expansion then there will be flow of current that flow of current will be continuous and as if there is volume expansion then here current will flow based on the rate of change of volume charge density with respect to time and this is continuous right using this equation in future coming videos i'll be solving many examples as well that will be quite helpful to you in your university examinations as well as in competitive examinations and still if any query is there then just post that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video